Welcome back. Today, as you join me onto Liverpool Castle, which you've already seen one of the pictures I've not taken already yet, um, I'm on my way in and the line of trees on both sides, I'll just spin that around, it's just encapsulated, just really want to take the photo. And some of these, the moss, let me just have a walk over because it's a bit muddy over here. The moss and the lichen are on and they're all dripping away. I don't know if it's going to come through or if it's too dark or not, I'm not 100% sure. But this one here is really grabbing me. That one. I think the third one along that one there, that one is really grabbing me. I've already got um, a picture of two already, um, but I'm going to take some more. It's just, just really, really good. I just, the texture. And it's been obviously winter, it's all dark and a bit creepy, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to take a couple more pictures and I'll just chuck them up after that. You join me back i'm still at the tree um, getting a shot there i don't know if you can see the camera what i've gone for is a tree with that branch just reaching out to the other trees in front that on the um i've got a couple of compositions of it not 100 if i like it the sky is a bit bright but it is dark here probably not showing it on camera but it is quite dark here um, to multiple exposures, you probably blend those in Photoshop. Um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous tree, but that one down there is also calling it as well. One's just sticking out. So I'm going to get a couple of pictures of that as well, and I'll, I'll put those up as well. Well, as you might have gathered, I've still not made it to the castle yet. I've come down to the water's edge where William Hesketh Lever actually envisaged the castle to be. But first, I'm at the water's edge. I've got that stick. I don't know if it's coming through here. A stick in the water, a bit of a tree. It's, it's just grabbing me. With it being so... It's like black and white. A bit of a cloudy day. It's had a big rainfall this morning. I was 50-50 whether to come out and do anything or not. But I'm glad I have. I've got that shot. Um, 25th of a second. F11, something like that. I've not gone overboard with it at all. Um, no long exposures, nothing like that. It's just straight shots. But yeah, here on the banks. Let's just spin you around. Let's see. Over in that direction there, up in those trees, is where Liverpool Castle is. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. But it's just, it's, got, it's just gorgeous conditions. It's really quiet. The water is like a mill pond. It really is. As you can see, I'll spin you back round again. Look at that. It's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. There's trees and the water. So many compositions. There really is. Um, I'll put a picture of that in a minute. I want to get one of these trees here as well. Those ones. It's got some uh, leaves in the bottom. But there's still an awful lot of green in the area. And it's, what, it's mid-December now, so... I thought it would have gone by now, but obviously not. So I'll put those pictures up, then I'll make way up. Oh yeah, there's a couple of trees as well I want up there. They're just wiggly-wangly ones. Gorge trees. I'll catch you in a minute.
finally made it. Here we are, Liverpool Castle, the Rivington edition. Right, I've done a bit of research on this and I've left it in the car, as you do, like a numpter. Right, from this is all from memory. William Hesketh Lever commissioned this in 1912, which I'm actually surprised because I actually thought it was older than what it is. I thought it was like 17, 18, something like that because of the state it's in. And then work, work started in 1912, work finished in 1925 when he died. And this is the state it's in at the moment. Um, it was never, never meant to be finished. It was always meant to be ruins. Um, it is a scaled down model of Liverpool Castle. To what scale, we don't know. It's probably very, yeah, you've got about 100 foot by 100 foot, yeah, they eat. That's probably the gist, the gist of it from my side of it anyway, because I can't find any information about it at all. Um, he actually built it here, looking over a lower Rivington reservoir, because it reminded him of where the original Liverpool castle was. Oh, I think it was Bootle, Liverpool. I'm sure it was Bootle. Um, there we go, that's the Lower Rivington Reservoir. There's a nice walk around the castle as well. I'll probably go around that in a moment. Um, yeah, so it was built on that. And it was, this area is locally known as Coblo, which I've never, never heard of it before. And all the brickwork is all locally, so, all locally sourced. I think it's from memory, Gritstone, I think it's called. Um, but I believe in about 20 years ago, there was some remedial work done to the castle walls and whatever because of damage done. But it was done by professionals, not local Joe Bloggs builders. Yeah, get some breeze block on it, be right. But it's been professionally done because I believe it was the lime mortar or something like that, what they use. I don't know. It's just what I've been told. But this is actually class as a folly, not a castle, a folly, which I didn't know. But, and I will put a map up of the diagram of the area where the, because there's towers, there's one, two, that one's non-existent. And there's one over there in the corner. And I'll put it up, because there's, it's quite an amazing, through that wall though, I think that's um, the Great Hall, I think, through that. I don't know what was here, but it was a cracking view. If we go along here, I'm taking you back again. I presume, depending on how high the towers were going to be, you get some cracking views. Over to that way is Bolton and Manchester. Um, go over that way, that is Preston, and a bit further behind Preston is Blackpool. So you can probably see the tower. Let's go this way here. I don't know if that's picking it up. Right in the distance, that's Rivington Pike. And the mast, you can see from miles and miles, which is lit up um, for the top third, I think it is. Because where I was on my first um, vlog, that's Leadmines Clough. And there's a, that memorial is for the plane crash because the the mass when it was lit up, it was only at that point it only had one light at the top and it was covered in fog, so that's where the accident came from. So that's a bit of history as well. Right, let's have a look round.
just a sort of a shot in the south tower which let's go in there's big puddles here everywhere and um, the shots i've got so get through these puddles is from here you're going to get this doorway in these windows here got the sky but it's a massive dynamic range so i'm gonna to have to bracket those and i'll put them all together later on in photoshop or lightroom whichever i choose and i hope it's good i hope it's good there's such a dynamic range it's such an echo in here it's unbelievable but well, this is one of the least echoish rooms there is so i'll put that up i'll take a few more shots of the other rooms i'll catch you in a minute I'm in the Great Hall now. It is absolutely stunning. The brickwork is unbelievable. The craft the stonemasons have is just unbelievable. You just spin your own. Obviously, there's graffiti everywhere, but the numpties can't help it, can they? But the work that's gone into this is unbelievable. I know it's only a few years that it was built, but it's unbelievable, I can't believe how good it is. I'm just get over to this doorway here. Just, just look at it, it's just the position of it, it's just... They must have spent about three weeks just doing one archway. It's unbelievable, it's absolutely superb. I hope my pictures do it some justice, I really do. I've just been and got some photos from the side of the castle and uh, one in front here just with the trees but I think it's a birch it looked really it, really nice to just set it off I'll put those at the end of the, the video um, and I think I've got some on my hard drives at home which I've been here before I know I've got a wire wool one which was down towards the uh, reservoir um, as a backdrop I don't think I've got anything else. I did a model shoot a while ago, many years ago. I don't think I've still got that on the drive. I think it's got lost somewhere. But yeah, it's been a superb day. If, you, if you're in the area, come down, have a wander around. I know there's not much here, but it's gorgeous what it is. The woodland is. There's so many gnarly trees around. And at the moment, the fog's coming down, the mist, so I might get some on the way back home. Speaking of that, I'm on my way home now. I'm knackered, I'm starving, and I need to edit all this lot, which is gonna be tech forever and ever, I think. So I hope you've liked the video. If you have, press the like, make a comment if you'd like, good or bad, I'm not really bothered. And subscribe, please, if you can. That'd be superb. Thanks for watching, bye.